at least the top hundred. All right, everybody, Confidential Cinema Time. Happy 2019. As you guys realize that uh, this is the third video posted in 2019, so it makes no sense, but I decided to say that because in, in the community, a lot of videos are getting posted. I'm Henry Confidential. We are in the Confidentials Club, and we are doing uh, our new format with the Triple Threats, and we have, first up, my good buddy, Mike Hanley. Hello. Next up, we, top have, we have a familiar face over here <laughs> and uh, anything that I do, uh, Malcolm. <laughs> and then uh, next up, we have Michael. Uh, is this your first time in one of mine, or is this one of the first? My first time competing. I did like a uh, judge thing where yeah. you, you lost. Perfect. Um, so, but, I, yeah. Michael, it's my first time ever doing anything with you, so you've been a, a long-time viewer, and uh, I'm, I'm finally glad to see that you get to hate me just like everyone else now. So, uh, anybody have any questions <laughs> I, on the new format? I had format? no problems doing that way before today. <laughs> Anybody have any questions on the new format in this Triple M match? No. Nah. No. All right. So as we guys, as you guys all know, I like uh, hockey. So we're gonna start off with a face-off. Um, Mike, you're gonna be A. Malcolm B. Michael, you're gonna be C. Are we ready? So I'm C. Two letters. Yes. All right. So here's a. It's just a yell it out loud. So just yell your letter. Who directed Unbreakable? Hey. I got C. M. Night Shyamalan. Ooh, we we're looking for M. Night Shyamalan. No, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so Michael, you're Campbell. You're going to have a one-point advantage starting off, yeah. and you're also going to have the opportunity to choose things if there's any ties. So uh, can you let us know what you chose as your strength in round one? Uh, I chose the, the one of the best comedy franchises ever with the best comedy sequel ever. That's the Jump Street franchise. Can you call it a franchise if there's only two? No, oh, well, that's a debate for another. Well, time. I mean, technically, that was like, I don't know, ten. The end credits, twenty-two jump streets. That's fair. Uh, Mike, you you're gonna go next. Let us know what you're gonna uh, bless us with. The Harold and Kumar trilogy. Are we getting high? We'll see. And uh, Malcolm, last but not least, let us know what uh, trilogy you chose. I mean, franchise. I mean, what movies or what category? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> To complete comedy trilogy, I picked them awesome powers. Well, unfortunately, one of you are an incompletist and don't have a trilogy, but that's, that's again for another conversation. It's not like you originally chose M Mighty Ducks or anything like that. No, right, so we're going to start off with Harold and Kumar. Are we ready? I was born ready. No, it's all whiteboard, as you guys already know, but anyone listening, if for some reason one of my 13 viewers doesn't know, for round one's all whiteboard. <laughs> And here's how round one goes. No, just kidding. All right, so your first question. What animal does Harold and Kumar get high to avoid potentially killing them in Go to White Castle? God, my pin's see, going out. All I'm going to say is go to White Castle. So don't ask me which one. I'll fucking kill you. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Mike, your category? Cheetah. All right, we'll go to Malcolm. I thought it was beer. And Campbell. Cheetah. Two of you are correct. Cheetah. Hopefully you're not going to be cheetah. You're not going to be some cheetahs in this match. <laughs> Get it? Fuckers. All right. Jumping over to uh, Austin Powers. This oh, is, this you is a jump straight there. That nope. Don't make <laughs> nope. We're not going to jump over there. Thought that? Yeah. It's called a fake out. All right. So uh, <laughs> this one's a tough one, but this was interesting. What director has a cameo as a Klansman's son in Spy Who Shagged Me? I told you this is a hard one, but it's fun. Klansman's son. Son of a Klansman. That, that, that's what I'm looking for. So, looking for a director. Director. I'll give you a hint. What small time director? So don't overthink it. Or you should overthink it more. Small low key director. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright, so Michael and Mike didn't get right anything down, right? No, nope, at least right. the top hundreds. Malcolm, what did you uh, scribble? I'm gonna kick myself because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. I've just put Spike Lee because I thought you were to play on words of Klansman. <laughs> we're, look, we're looking somebody. We're looking for somebody with a crazy heart. Scott Cooper. 
Told you it was hard. You know who that what? is? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, I'm when I saw that, I was like, that's interesting. I'm going to write it, and you guys are going to hate me, and I love that. Are you sure it's the same skull so cr- so Yeah, because I, after I clicked on I went to his... That's, that's the benefit of doing writing questions based on IMDb. You can go down a rabbit hole and fact check all the other questions. Third question, first in Jump Street. What ethnicity is Jesus in 21 Jump Street? If you have to ask, you just don't know. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Campbell, can you let us know who to stop fucking with? You got time for your problems. You're busy with Korean shit. <laughs> Mike. Korean shit. And uh, Malcolm. I would just say Jump Street. I'd just put Hispanic. <laughs> he, yeah. I, think you, I think he would have been known as Jesus. <laughs> All right, second question in Harold and Kumar. What activity is the secretary doing causing Rob Cordry to be in charge of the investigation and escape from Guantanamo Bay? <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <I> love this. <laughs> and I will, and your answers will be wrong if I don't get the exact quote. Because it's that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. Five, four, three, two, one. Mike. It's fucking exhilarating. Ice fishing. <laughs> Malcolm. I put golf. And Campbell. Ice fishing. Apparently you've never been ice fishing. <laughs> fucking Godzilla. <laughs> Do you want her to be raped? <laughs> uh, no. This is America. This is America. <laughs> if you're not watching Harold and Kumar, what the fuck is wrong with you? So good. <laughs> I'll accept it if you call that like a cult or like a guilty pleasure, but it, they're so great. Next question in uh, Austin Powers. Who plays Vanessa Kensington in The International Man of Mystery? Actor or actress? Can't discriminate. Malcolm, your, your squeaking on your whiteboard is really distracting. I'm trying to think here as I count down. Five. Four. Three. Two and a one. Malcolm. Elizabeth Hurley. All right. Campbell. Shane Warren's ex, Liz Hurley. And Mike. Lisa Tapman. <laughs> I will give you credit for being lazy, Michael. Yes, Liz will be accepted. <laughs> Everyone's on the board. Five for Campbell, three for Mike, one for Malcolm. Next, over to Jump Street. Why did the black kid think Channing Tatum punched him in 21 Jump Street. <laughs> Jeez. Only you, man. <laughs> Especially the wording of the question, too. Oh, what am I going to do? Offend the 13 people that watch? Good question. Five. You offend you by not releasing four. the top 100. What am I going to get? My viewership down to 12? Three. Two. <laughs> One. Campbell. Because he was gay. Did you punch me because I was gay? I didn't know you were gay. I just punched you. You were gay, you were gay when gay. I punched you. Mike. <laughs> because he's gay. And Malcolm. I read the other one I put because he's racist. So he, so he yes. punched the black kid because the black kid was racist? <laughs> I am one gay black kid getting punched away from leaving this cult. I'll just say. Jake Johnson's awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's not in much, but he's great. Yeah. And spoiler alert, that's not a question. I'm glad it's not, because I just spoiled it. Uh, back over to uh, Harold and Kumar. Who plays the mall Santa in the Christmas one? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad I'm making Mike happy. This is how you write questions, Mike. You don't complain. You get good stuff. I'm just teasing. Release the top hundred. <laughs> I'll release the Kraken on you. <laughs> Stop it, cracking a can of whoop ass. Five, four, three, two, one. Mike. Captain Oswald. And Malcolm. Uh, I have thought it was Neil Patrick Harris. That's actually yeah, a guess. Bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Captain <laughs> Oswald. That's correct. Seven, five, one. 
Sounds like an area code. Your final question. That was your final question, Kumar. Your final question in motherfucking uh, Austin Powers. What is Beyonce's name in Goldmember? I suck again. Oh no, we suck again. Five, four, three, two, one. Malcolm. I'm Foxy Cleopatra. Was that a dance? That was really creepy. Malcolm. Michael. <laughs> Foxy Cleopatra. And Mike. Release the top one. <laughs> I almost gave Mike a point there. I was, so, I was so not used to giving Malcolm points in this round that I was like, nah, he didn't get it right. Oh, wait, he did. <laughs> That, that's how you have fun with these matches. Someone's doing bad, you just have fun with it. You, you just go instead of like, oh, poor guy, you got a question wrong. Or, oh, the other guy got a question right, now the lead's bigger. Fuck off, just keep playing. All right, <laughs> final question in Jump Street. Who plays Zook in 22 Jump Street? How would you feel if you're walking around and your name is Zook? Five. Four, oh, yeah, okay. Three. Is Zook on Two. What? One. Campbell. Wyatt Russell. Mike. Big trouble in Little China. Wyatt Russell. And Malcolm. Release the top 100. Nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, ladies and germs. I don't know if you guys have this in common, but I wrote it anyway. What? In yeah. Fast and the Furious. Oh, I thought it was I, I did think about that, to be honest. <laughs> what city does I mean, Brian... You said, you said Conan. Yeah, right. What city does Brian work as an undercover cop for in the first Fast and the Furious? In what city? City. Isn't it funny when dogs have to poop and their tail's just like up in the air? Because it's like it's holding their butthole up. It's really creepy looking. Five, four. So, what happens when you don't have a co host? You just talk about dogs' buttholes. Three, two, one. Malcolm. Los Angeles? Ooh. Michael. I think it was Johnny Utah, uh, undercover cop in Los Angeles. Ooh. And Mike. Well, at least the top 100, for Los Angeles. Ooh, I'm so sorry, guys. You all got it right. Ah, fake out. You should have seen your face. All right, Michael, you suck shit, and you only got 10 points out of a possible 10. Just kidding, 11, because you got the face off. Mike, well, and I missed the first Austin awesome Powers one. Why not? That's why I was joking. I was like, out of a possible 11, because the face off. Just joking, dickwad. And no, you're, oh! not, and no, you're not Peter Parker. Uh, Mike, you got seven, and Malcolm, you did fantastic. You got three. All right, so uh, yes, Campbell, you get the decision to go first, second, or third, knowing what's on the wheel in the first uh, set of questions. I'll go third. Third. All right, and uh, Mike. I'll go first. The least of top hundreds. I like it. Thumbs up. Let's do this. Spin is in. Ow, that hurt. Like that glare? I'll show you a glare. Jeff Goldblum. You get two spins now in this new format, by the way. Instead of three, because there's only seven categories. Goldblum or horror? Oh, shit. Or would you like to risk it all? Because why the fuck not? Fuck it, let's take Goldblum. <laughs> all right. The category of Jeff Goldblum. By the way, you're gonna, you guys are going to write down... And you guys, for this, I'm not going to, you know, because I can see you guys. There's no rush, but don't fucking take forever. And you're allowed to get a repeat. You know, so whatever. We'll see how it goes. Just don't piss me off. First question. What 70s movie do we see Goldblum simply as someone on the phone in a pleasant early career cameo slash background role? Uh, 
I think I know this, but I'm going to go multiple choice. Is it A, Death Wish, B, Nashville, C, Annie Hall, or D, The Sentinel? Annie Hall. That is correct for a point. Eight. Second question. What is, surra- what is the surrounding content for the story of Nashville? Multiple choice. Is it A, hockey, B, music, C, politics, or D, food? Fuck this up. Five. Repeat the question. What is the surrounding content for the story of Nashville? Hockey, music, politics, food. Five. Four. Three. Two. Politics. That is incorrect. You guys need any repeats? Any extra time? Malcolm, first. Um, It might be too obvious, but I put um, B. All right, and Campbell? Music. That is correct. Music. Fuck, it was that. Nashville, the the music capital of the United States. (laughs) Hey, if it's too obvious, it might be right. Third question. What movie does Goldblum play a character named David Levinson? Independence Day. David! David! That is correct. That was a softball for anyone who got potentially got Goldblum and didn't know Goldblum. So I was like, <laughs> I'll throw it in there. Fourth question. What was the name of the dog voiced by Goldblum in Isle of Dogs? Oh, shit. Multiple choice. Is it A, Boss, B, King, C, Rex, or D, Duke? Duke. That is correct. You're tied up with Michael. Eleven. Final question. Finish the quote. Finish the Goldboom quote, quote in Jurassic Park. Years? But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't blank. Three words. Eat the terrace. Two points. It's impressive. At least the top hundred. I'm curious. Yes, how, what, what do you think of my multiple choice? It was steal the booty, return back home, eat the terrace, or wine all day? <laughs> steal the booty makes it worth it right there. <laughs> Jesus. Could you imagine Jeff Goldblum saying that? I can. <laughs> Steal the booty. All right, Malcolm, we're going to jump over to you. <coughs> Jeff Goldblum is removed, and we are going to replace it with Casey Affleck. Oh, shit, so Michael's going to have two rom com That was smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why he chose to go last. Anyone watching? Uh, I screwed up and accidentally wrote two rom-com categories, so <laughs> you're going to see that, and it's going to be funny. Or I'm going to edit that out, and we're just going to surprise you. We'll see. Or I'm going to three, two, one. Back in, Henry. Here's your spin. If anyone didn't get that joke, go fuck yourself. So I have a feeling we'll see that countdown. <laughs> Rom-coms for Malcolm. This is rom- <laughs> rom-coms point 1.0. Not sci-fi. Rom-coms or animated? Um, you want to risk it all? Yeah, fuck it, I'll risk it all. He said yes. Rom-coms. <laughs> Well, luckily for Michael, there's only going to be one of them. <laughs> It'll be like it never happened. All right, I'll give you I'll give you the option, Malcolm, A or B. Do you want rom-coms A or rom-coms B? Let's have fun with this, man. B. 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 All right. He's going to be so mad like Mrs. All these, and then I spin A, and he goes like A for A. <laughs> that would be hilarious. All right, so your B is sci-fi. Rom-com. <laughs> That's a joke. First question. What is the profession of Gregory Peck's character in Roman Holiday? Multiple choice. Is it A, bartender, B, newsman, C, lawyer, or D, cab driver? 
cab driver? That's incorrect. Does anybody need a repeat? No. That's actually really right. All right, Michael, go first. News, newsman. And Mike. B, newsman. That is correct. 14, uh, I'm a reporter. 14, 12, 4. Looking good for Malcolm. Of course it is, yes. Because he's, he's a good-looking guy. Who plays Tom Hanks' womanizing brother in Splash? Multiple choice. Is it A, Charlie Sheen, B, Dan Aykroyd, C, Matt Dillon, or D, John Candy? Matt Dillon? That's incorrect. Does anybody need a repeat? No. no. Mike, go first. D, John Candy. <laughs> Man, man. <laughs> when has anybody ever called you Mike? Mike. Well, I, Mike so Mike. I thought you said Mike cool and then you stopped at Mike. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, young man. Your third question, Malcolm. After waking up from being unconscious, who is the first woman whose thoughts Mel Gibson hears in What Women Want? Oh... Multiple choice. Is it A, his mother, B, his sister, C, his maid, or D, his boss? His maid? That is correct. Yes, Malcolm. That's what I'm talking about. Malcolm's cleaning up. Anybody? No. Um, lo- <laughs> low school wins what? <laughs> <laughs> what iconic landmark does Salma Hayek give birth in Fool's Rush In? Yeah. Audible choice. Is it A, the Hoover Dam, B, Niagara Falls, C, Caesar's Palace, or D, the Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty? That is incorrect. Does anybody need a repeat? Or more time? No. Campbell. Is it Caesar's Palace? And Hanley. Hoover Dam. That is correct. God damn. Matthew Perry. Well, at least the top hundred. Uh, your final question, Malcolm, to put you out of your misery. In The Switch, Jason Bateman accidentally gives his semen to Jennifer Aniston, who was originally supposed to be the donor. Looking for the actor. Multiple choice. Is it A, Josh Lucas, B, Greg Kinnear, C, Rob Lowe, or D, Patrick Wilson? Greg Kinnear. Does anybody need a repeat? I'm just going to write that. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hanley. D. And Campbell. Patrick Wilson. That is correct. Yes. All right, Mike. I mean, Malcolm. You're currently down 17 to 5 to 14. So, unless you can get some steals from uh, Campbell, it's not looking good, guy. You got this, Malcolm. Well, at least the top 100. Well, luck, l- Campbell, luckily for you, I don't have to re- 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 re-race anything, so I can just keep <laughs> rom-coms on there. I'm just going to put more rom-coms. Alright, Campbell, you're up. With three spins. By the way, um, Malcolm, do you wish you would have went to Animator, or do you think it kind of would have been pretty similar? Um, I mean... I'm, my knowledge base is p- pretty much the same on both rom-coms and animated. I really don't know a lot. So are you glad I didn't write any animated rom-coms? Do any exist? I don't know. <laughs> Campbell, horror? By the way, did anyone catch my Johnny Utah joke for the fun security? Yeah, I got what, that. What did you say? <laughs> I said Johnny Utah, which, because obviously, fun security is a point Horror break, and isn't? animated. Can I get a score check? What is what is my phone? Seven, you're up three. Okay, I'll go harder then. Right. It's gonna be a fight. First question: What is the name of the lead girl in Scream? You mean Nev Campbell's character? Yeah, the real lead girl. Uh, Sydney Prescott. That is correct. Played by my long lost sister, obviously. Uh, I doubt it. 
Second question. What Sam Raimi movie has an ensemble cast including Kate Blanchett, Keanu Reeves, and Katie Holmes? The Gift. That is correct, for the lead. Which also plays a role in Howard and Kumar go to White Castle. <laughs> All right, Malcolm, not looking good. Third question. What does Marsha Gay Harden's character claim to be the reason the monsters are here in the mist? Lost the choice. Is it A, the government, B, God, C, pollution, or D, global warming? Good multiple choice options. I'll say first off. Thank you. I take pride I'll in this. I'll say A. That is incorrect. Anybody need a repeat? No. All right. We're going to go to Malcolm first. Huge potential steal. Global Woman, D. And Hanley. B, God. Tie game, 18-18. What? It was God. God's a tie. Because you were up one on him, and now he just got a one-point steal. Oh. Yeah, he got it switched around when he said that you were up. Oh, okay. It was I. Was okay. Right oh. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys have the same names. Yeah, you guys have the same name. That was <laughs> All right, don't fuck with me. Your fourth question. What Fast and the Furious star plays a role in Resident Evil? Michelle Rodriguez? That is correct for a two-point lead. And at this point, officially, Malcolm, you have been knocked out. Just a heads up. And yeah, Malcolm. And for both of Michael and Mike, you guys both get a knockout on your record. So keep that in mind when by the end of this match. So I don't Malcolm, suck again. You're allowed. You're allowed to uh, root for whoever you want. So if anyone gets it right, you can start cheering. Campbell, your fifth question: In Children of the Corn, what age does the cult say everyone must be killed? Twelve. That is incorrect. Ooh, Malcolm, you can still steal for streaker if you want. Um, repeat the question. <laughs> he was like, I checked out. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blaming you, Malcolm. In Children of the Corn, what age does the cult say everyone must be killed? Eleven. Well. <laughs> 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 yes, Malcolm. This Malcolm just forgot the rules. Me. He was just like, I'm mad uh, agitating. I'm out. Hanley. 18? That is correct for a tie game. I mean, I, would, I mean, it would have been wrong anyway, so. I know, <laughs> but, but it was just to, hilarious. I didn't give me anything away. So. This is hilarious. All right, this is going to be fun because, uh, Campbell, you got the face off, so you are technically in the lead. So, three numbers, one to 12. Two, three, six. In that order? Yeah. That's fine. And Hanley. What are the numbers up to again? One to twelve. Seven. Two. He already said two. God damn it. Fuck. Three. He already said three. (laughs) Four. (laughs) Twelve. There we go. All right, Mike, we're going to go to you first. Okay. Fuck it. Your first category is recent releases. Do you want to make that your two, three, or five? Three. All right. Number four, 2010s. Uh, my one. Okay, two. But... Uh, yeah, whatever. We switched it. We got outvoted. At least the top hundreds. For the lead in 2010s, what is the name of the final song played in Whiplash? Campbell's like, God damn it. The final song? Yeah. I wish you would have spelled that wrong, Malcolm. That would have been hilarious. Fuck. Whiplash. Campbell, do you want to tell us for street creds? Is it Caravan? Caravan. We're going to jump back over to Michael to see if he can take the lead now. Your first category is DC. Say DC? DC. Oh, two. Two. 
Please let's start it off. Who was the first member of the Suicide Squad to die? Is that Slipknot? That is correct for the lead. Now I'm going to jump back over to Mike for his three, which he said was going to be recent releases. In Game Night, what does Kyle Chandler offer as the prize to the winner of the murder mystery? His car. That is correct for the lead. Now we're gonna jump Suck back again. over. I didn't make to... that my five. <laughs> now we're gonna jump back over to Michael. Three release dates. Three or five. Five. Uh, actually, okay, I'll go <laughs> five because I'm worried about you, but I'll go five. All right. Six. So you're for to take back the lead. You chose number six, which is Tim Burton. For three in the lead. Sarah Jessica Parker appears in what Burton movie? Lost Attacks. That is incorrect. Looking for Ed Wood. Oh, yeah. Nervous now? Let me fact check just to make sure. I'm pretty sure. I checked, but... Now I'm nervous. What about sudden death? No, just because he said that so confidently, so I'm just making sure that he's not <laughs> oh, in it. I mean... Very nervous. Ah, ball. She was in it. Damn it. All right. What? Yeah. Man, I need that. I, just, I remember that somewhere. Mm. Is this another question or will I get three points? Yeah, I'm just making another question real quick. It's still going to be Tim Burton, so I'm in the same category. Different category? No, it's still going to be Tim Burton. Recent? Recent. At least it's Taplin. Attaboy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one's a similar in difficulty, so it's fair. Let's check. Okay. You ready? Sure. Alright, Michael. So you chose number three, or number six to be your three, and that is Tim Burton. You ready? Yes. Okay. Richard Griffith, the character who plays Vernon Dursley in the Harry Potter movie, appears in what Tim Burton movie? Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now you got me nervous again. <laughs> 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 We're good. Okay. That is incorrect. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Uh, okay. I just thought it was one of the cases. You can't say that with such confidence. It scares me. All right. So we're going to stick with you, Campbell, for your five. If you miss, you lose. Will you come in second place? No, technically he wins because he's Mike. It's true. No matter what, a Mike is winning. This is true. All right, your five porn and release dates. What classic monster movie came out first, Frankenstein or King Kong? Frankenstein. For five points. That's how we do it. All right. Mike Hanley, this is all up to you. God damn it. You're number 12. This is sucks for you. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Category is musical-based. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, let's do it. At least the top one. Just for proof. Right there. Where's it at? No, I know. I know you're not fucking with me. Musical-based. There you go. You can pause it and see if you get over there. Your question. 
John Lithgow plays Reverend Shaw Moore in what musical-based movie? Can I get a foot? Loose. That is correct for the win. Wait, you, you just showed the answer on your phone. Like, I'm not saying, like, did it. Like, on your phone, you showed the whole question. And it was like, foot loose in brackets. Oh, wow. Was it? Oh, did it? Yeah. Give me another question. Like, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that no, you no, 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 anyway. No, I didn't, I, didn't I didn't even think about that. That's totally true. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, but... Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's like, fuck you. You want to redo my question? Fuck you. <laughs> That's true. I didn't even think about that. I was so worried about feeling bad. This is why I don't. This is why I don't usually feel bad because then I fuck up. Mike's like, Michael Campbell's like, fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna win now. Good karma. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a similar situation of what happened with you, Michael. It's gonna be a similar type of question. So. That was pretty funny, to be honest. Damn it. <laughs> that fucking gosh. Why'd you show your phone? I told you not to show it, motherfucker. <laughs> it's true. You did tell me not to. I blame this loss on you. At least the top 100. <laughs> As you should. It's like a D Ford lining up in the neutral zone and just <laughs> just didn't do that. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike, you chose number twelve to be your five. Well, Technically, you chose the other ones to be two and three, and this is what your five is. And it is musical-based movies. As somebody who has uh, pronounced his not love for musicals, you might get lucky here because it's musical-based, so we'll see. In Blues Brothers 2000, who plays the warden? Five, four. Repeat the question. In Blues Brothers, two thousand. Who plays the warden? Five, four, three. Give me my last repeat. Five. I guess we're doing three repeats. <laughs> my last repeat. <laughs> Give me my last repeat. <laughs> in, in Blues Brothers, two thousand. I love Mike Williams. Like, give my man Denzel. And, <laughs> who plays the warden? Give him my last repeat. But least the top hundred. It's John Landis. Get it wrong, you didn't. Frank Oz is what we were looking for. Uh, that's actually clear, yes. <laughs> so what we were looking for is Frank Oz. So Mike Cole Campbell. I, I won. <laughs> The power of editing, you won fair and square. <laughs> so, Michael, here's what happens. You get uh, excuse me. You get two points for your win, but you also get three points for a knockout. So five points are gonna go on your record. Hanley, you get one point for a win, but you also knocked out Malcolm, so you're also gonna get three points. So you're actually gonna get four points on your record. And Malcolm, you get nothing, sir. You lose, you get nothing. Go home. Whatever the quote is from Willy Wonka, I can't remember the rest. Uh, with that being... It's the top 100. All right. Yes! There, there's yes! A, there's a Malcolm's final thoughts. Uh, Campbell, this is your first uh, match with uh, me. What did you think of the format? What did you think of the concept? And how do you feel about getting points for a knockout and Mike getting points for coming in second? Well, first match in this situation, uh, that, was, that was a good match. <laughs> Uh, Mike, me and Mike have gone back and forth, and uh, I 
I took home because I thought I was up by three, so I thought I could play it safe. Turns out I was actually down by three. <laughs> That's what you get for having the same fucking name. <laughs> but I mean, it worked out well. Like, we ended up tied, so I can't complain too much. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I we can do this again sometime. There you go. Uh, every, at least once or twice a month. Uh, in this, that's how we roll in this club. Mike, how do you feel? You you get a you get a point for coming in second, but you also knocked out Malcolm. So uh, luckily for you, he didn't have his best game. So you're gonna at least you know be in the rankings up there. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. You know, I always love playing against these two. Michael, we've played in teams. You know, it, it's gotten interesting in teams and in singles. You know, it, it, we were really close to each other. So I think yeah. on a good day, both me and you are pretty much there. Malcolm, you just had bad. Take out the bad take, man. Like, no offense against you. I know you're good with it, but you know, you're Peter Jackson. You're going to pull through. Release the top 100. Yeah, well, with that being said, everybody, I'm Henry Confidential. This was a great match. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Uh, ch you know, share, you know, so we can get 14 or 15 views per match. You know, without you guys, we wouldn't exist. As, as always, uh, uh, love you guys. I'm just kidding. I don't like you guys. Henry Confidential, we're out. <laughs>